welcome back to Social Studies. Social Studies looks a wee bit different today. The case. It is the morning of October 16th, 1774. There is less than an hour until representatives from each of the 13 colonies meet in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The colonies are uniting over their dissatisfaction of the actions of King George III of Great Britain. Inside the building, locked away in a safe, are hundreds of letters written by colonists suggesting ways to fix the issues with King George III. You have been collecting the colonial letters for over a year now. You have called the meeting to showcase the colonial concerns and create a plan of action. Dun, 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 dun. Each colony has different concerns, so the letters are extremely important. This is the only way the concerns of each colony can be addressed and heard by others. Twelve of the 13 delegates have now arrived and are waiting on you to read the letters. The problem is you forgot the combination of the safe, which holds the valuable letters. The representatives are going stir crazy. They are threatening to leave in less than an hour unless the safe is open and the letters are read out loud. Your job is to find the four digits Lock the combination before it's too late. The colonists are counting on you. Your mission. Visit each decoder and decipher the interesting facts about the causes of the Revolutionary War. It does not matter which order you decode the puzzles. You may not turn in the four-digit code unless all the clues have been decoded and all the questions have been answered. Turn the page. So, I'm going to read you clue number one. If you get stuck on clue number one, you can go to clue number two. Did you know? Colonists immediately began a boycott of British goods. The French and Indian War lasted from 1754 to 1763. The French and Indian War took place between the American colonies and New France. In this war, British troops helped American colonists fight. The American colonies won the war, but only because they had the help from the British soldiers. King George III spent a large amount of money buying expensive supplies in order for his army to protect the colonies. King George III and the British government felt that the colonists should help pay for the expense of the war and the expense of the British soldiers stationed in the American colonies. Sound familiar? Should. We've read about this, right? Most of the 13 colonies were founded by people who wanted to escape persecution in England. Persecution is the act of being treated harshly especially for a person's religious beliefs. As the British government became more involved with the colonies, tensions increased. Originally, the British government had allowed the colonies to govern themselves. The colonies were proud to be British. In 1764, that all changed. The British government thought it was best to impose new laws and taxes on the colonists. The British government, known as Parliament, decided to pass the Sugar Act. Great Britain was far away from the American colonies. The colonists didn't want people all the way across the ocean telling them what to do or how to live. So, question. What is another name for the British government? A, Parliament. The Sugar Act taxed American colonists. Something, 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 something. So, what you're going to need to do, so then you have a motto, you have a clue, number three, a clue number four. 
And then it says the four digit code. Whoa, tricky, tricky, tricky. So this is the way I do the cat, the bottom. Okay, so I first of all I think of the way I do this kind of stuff is a lot of times. First of all, I'm going to use a pencil. I'm not going to lie. And I start to think about what I know about the English language, right? This could be a T H E. If this is the then the rest of my 18s are going to be T's, right? See if that makes sense. T. Uh oh, I only have two T's. That might not work. H. Now, now here's another thing. When do you usually see two? two numbers next to each other. It's got to be a double consonant, right? Or a double vowel. Now, do you usually see two A's together? Do you usually see two E's? So this could be an E-E. -E. It could be, uh, would it be a U-U? -U? No, it could be an O-O. Would it be an I-I? A E I O U. It could be two T's. It could be an L L. The Sugar Act tax American colonists something. So T might not make the most sense there, but what I usually do is I usually try to figure out is there a. Now, would th the make sense here? Something the? No. This could be a the. If this is a the, then that's not a the. So that's kind of what you're thinking about. So play around with the letters and see if you can start to decode a message. Um, I'm going to see if we can start to decode a message. Okay, this is how far we've gotten. And we're going to look at clue number two. Clue number two says, did you know Paul Revere created his famous engraving in just three weeks after the Boston Massacre? In 1765, the Stamp Act was imposed on colonists to help pay for the French and Indian War. This law required colonists to pay a tax on all printed materials such as newspapers, legal documents, magazines, and playing cards. The British felt they could tax the colonists because they received the help of the British troops. The American colonists did not agree with the taxes. Whoops, sorry. The colonists felt that the British government had no right to tax them. There were no representatives of the colonies in the British government. The colonies had no one to speak up on their behalf. They had no say in the amount or use of taxes. They didn't think taxing the colonies was fair. The colonists did not like being taxed for things that had always been free. In 1770, <clears throat> excuse me, colonists began to protest the actions of the British government. Due to colonial protests, the British sent soldiers to Boston to keep order in the town. One Boston protest in 1770 resulted in a fight and several colonists were shot and killed. This incident is known as the Boston Massacre. <clears throat> See, the British soldiers fired at the colonists, killing five men. Though it was not really a massacre, Paul Revere used that term to persuade people that the British were not looking out for their best interests. Days before the massacre, British officers ordered the ref Removal of all colonists staying at the Boston Manufactory House, a safe house for the poor, ill, or homeless. The British ordered the safe house to be evacuated so the British soldiers could stay there. The Stamp Act taxed what? All of the above. Okay. The motto of the colonies quickly became... You do? So what do you think it is? No, I know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, 
First one is A. Let's see if you're right. It is, it is not an A. It is an N. Oh, thank you very much. So it looks like So, this is an N, so this is an N, the last one is an N, mm, yep. All right, so that will get you guys started, and we will chat with you the next time we come to work on this.